What's good guys, Jay Lee here, another Northwest podcast. Today I'm going to talk about something crucial. I'm going to talk about what women really, really want. Now, when you have experience and you've been in the game of life, in the game of dating, in the game of interest in women, and when you're around, you know, particularly societies and culture structures where women kind of do have the rule, they have the, the, the power, such as where I live in Seattle, where it's liberal. If you know anything about liberals, now I'm not saying republicanism is the answer, conservatism is the answer, but it has the classic model. Conservatism has the classic model, men being leaders of the family, okay? Women being the, you know, nurturers of the children, etc. Right? But when you're around liberals, you understand that that dynamic is flipped. Now women have the power. Now women are running the, the family. Now women are running the legislation. When you have a society that stems from and is a result of feminism not just classic feminism which was which was about equality which was fine i'm a supporter of classic feminism you know at least in so far as it had an egalitarian goal to it right of course the results are tragic the results and the and the subsequent second and third wave feminisms which resulted in just you know the, the the tossing away of morality, a tossing away of family values, and the and the implementation of misandry and man hate by use of lies and manipulation and fear tactics and accusations and all the kind of crap that we get put on us by these hateful people, these feminists, right? That society is. That's a liberal society. That society is ran by women. When you have a society that is feminist in culture, you have a misandrous society. You have a gynocentric society tenfold. We already live in a gynocentric society as it is. We, we, have, we, we idolize women in the West. But when you have a feminist society, which meaning the, the, the city and the area is not conservative, it's not Republican, it's not under God, it doesn't hold moral value of any you know of any importance, then you have a society that's ran by women, basically. That's all it is. Check out their behavior. Check out the way they act. They know they have power over men. Happy wife, happy life, right? That's fear. That's a fear tactic, right? Legislation is in their favor. Men are afraid to get married. Okay, so what do women really want? You can read between the lines through all that. What do women really want? They want control. They want worship. They want a rule. They took classic feminism, which was about equality, and they twisted it, and they ran with it. Okay? And how did they do it? They did it systematically, step by step. Second wave feminism... They removed accountability for sexual relations outside of marriage. They made that okay. My body, my choice, right? I can do whatever I want with my body. You can't judge me. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Then what what happened in the 90s? Third wave feminism came in. Then it was, if you look at a woman, you're a rapist. Oh, let's tear down the patriarchy. 
Let's tear down the very thing that built the society that allows you to even have a voice. Let's attack men Let's, by, by calling them misogynists, by creating this farcity, which is the rape culture, right? Oh, we're all inherently rapists because we have a sex drive. This madness, which created a, a system, a, a, society, a societal system full of ha hateful young women indoctrinated into lies that men were out to get them, that a man couldn't run a household because that's the patriarchy. Okay. Well, guess what? You still have a female nature that's hypergamous. You still want the man to make more money than you. That's in your female nature. No matter how many women come out of the woodwork to deny it, it's evident every day. Any, any man who's in the dating game knows that women want us for our money. So you, you really just want our money, but you don't want us to, to lead or be men. You don't want to be women anymore. This is why so many women are unhappy. And they get a sort of power and a faux, a faux, control, a, a faux power from this control that they have through society, through the use of sex. That's really why women dress up sexy. Really, it's really so they can have power. If, if you really understand it. It's really so they can have power. It's not just for validation. It's not just so guys can oogle them and look at them, which is a mind fuck in and of itself. Women will claim on the one hand, they don't want to be looked at, they're not sluts, etc. Yet then they'll argue till the cows come home that they should be able to dress however they want to dress and they shouldn't be sexualized. I mean, that's just like, that's, that's like pissing down my back and telling me it's raining. You're, you're, that's nonsense. You're full of it. That's hypocrisy. That's double, that's a double standard. Right? But that's not the real reason. The real reason women dress up sexy and like it when they're sexy, this the real reason they like validation, the real reason that they want that freedom to be sexual, the real reason is because of power. Because sexuality is power. Sexuality is power. When a woman is sexy, she has power over men. She can manipulate men. This is where that whole black widow analogy comes from. The whole praying mantis analogy. This is what these women are. This is what they do. They tempt us. They manipulate us into into sexual exchanges that, that may not benefit us as men. What do they bring to the table besides sex? They tempt us into relationships that might not benefit us as men. Marriages. What's the How many women are pressuring their man to get married? Why? Because they that's their thing. That's when they have power. This is what they want. This is why it's so hard to get sex. Even though they've taken away the stigma of sex before marriage, even though they've taken away the stigma of loose promiscuity before marriage, they've taken away that stigma, they still don't have it indiscriminately. Not only is their female nature there, where they need that 6'2", chiseled abs, Chad, to have sex with the bad boy, right? They also need the guy with money, okay? And in addition to that, okay, they have the th 
you know, the the the, the double standard of, of having of of having sex, but you know, being so choosy, right? But also, in addition to that, you would think they would have it indiscriminately, but no. They use it for power. Power and control. This is what women want. This is what sexuality is. This is the real reason why women wanted to to take away the stigma of sex because sex is power. This is where the devil's in the details, and I do mean the devil literally. When you take away that stigma, when you take away that social pressure, those checks and balances, that shame for having, having loose sex, it gives them power. This is what it does.